hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you see i'm pretty bare faced but today i am going to show you guys how to basically do a beat but with no liquid foundation that makes sense um it's hot it's summertime and i'm pretty sure no one wants to be sweating off liquid foundation concealer setting powder foundation powder contour powder blush and highlight that's a lot so in this video i'm gonna show y'all how you can still look bomb your skin still look beat but without a liquid foundation so without further ado let's just go ahead and hop into this video so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and they look pretty good. And I went ahead and primed. I used the Milani Perfect, Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. It's hydrating, oil free, and it minimizes pores. So it basically kind of is like a blurring primer and I also put it right here. So I'm going to start off with concealer first. Actually, I lied. No, I'm not. First, I'm going to start with the Neutrogena Hydro, Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion Sunscreen. And it is a SPF 50. Um, it is hot. Like, I live in Alabama, Birmingham to be exact. And it is hot. And it's only springtime. Like, it's not even officially summer yet. And it's only May. So... I need as much SPF as possible because I burn pretty bad. So I put a little bit all on the high points of my face. So like my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my cheekbones sometimes. I just do that and I kind of like press it in a little bit because I don't want like too much because I'm putting on makeup. So yeah. And I need a foundation with SPF in it, but not too much to where it's like a white cast. So, if y'all know something, comment down below and let me know. Because I've tried foundations before that had SPF in it and I get a flashback. And I don't want those problems. So, yeah. So, I'm done with that. Now, I'm going to start with concealer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer which is one of my favorite concealers. It's creamy, it's full coverage, and it is affordable. It's like $6 on ColourPop. So yeah, I love this concealer. So I'm gonna take some of my concealer and I'm gonna do under my eyes. And I'm doing my concealer as if I have on liquid foundation first because, you know, it's kind of going to be the same. I can't really explain it, but hopefully y'all get the gist of what's going on. Now, with the concealer, as you see, it's a little close to my skin tone. Like, it's a highlight, but it's not as bright as... A highlighting concealer because some people use concealer to brighten some people use concealer to conceal um i am real really not going for a highlighted look this is something for like every day if you don't want to put on foundation concealer powder because it's like super duper time consuming so I recommend getting a concealer that's close to your skin tone and on top of that like this concealer the ColourPop concealer it has a tendency to oxidize so I recommend getting a concealer that's pretty close to your skin tone and using your foundation color as a reference like for Fenty concealer I have a Fenty concealer but it's in the shade 300 and it is actually pretty bright I mean, it's like really, really bright. So I barely use it. Um, 
if my foundation shade in Fenty is 330, so I need a 330 concealer, not 300. So I'm gonna actually go and get that later. So I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashyyyk Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend it as much as possible. If y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm sorry. And I ate breakfast, so I'm not sure what's going on. Actually putting it, like spreading it all over my nose. Because with this look, you don't have to like do a serious contour if you don't want to. Like it's not really necessary, but it's totally up to you and what you want to do. And this is my first time using this beauty blender and I actually kind of like it. Like, and I got a lot of recommendations on this beauty blender. And I was like, eh, cause I'm used to using like the brand beauty blender. So this is super, super huge and it works really well. So I like it, it blends really nicely. So do you see how I look even? Like you see that I have on concealer, but it's not like a brightening concealer, if that makes sense. So for powder, I'm gonna use my Max, Max Studio Fix powder and now I'm in the shade C6. Now with this step, I recommend getting a foundation powder, not a bronzer, not because some people use foundation powder to set under their eyes i don't do that unless the concealer is way too bright and i kind of want to balance it out with the powder but for today this is my foundation so because you can't put on powder and then put on a liquid concealer on top of it like that would be a bad combination so in this case you're putting on the concealer first and then the foundation powder. That way, it's quick, first of all. It's really quick and um, it doesn't take long. So if you're in a rush, this is a good technique for you to use. So I'm gonna take my foundation powder in the shade C6. On camera, it looks really bright, but in person, it is my shade. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to press it into my skin. And then I'm gonna swirl it. I'm gonna go under my eyes. I feel like everybody needs a foundation powder. You need a powder. Like, because for things like this and for like, if you are doing a liquid foundation, you need to set your entire face with the powder, not just your under eye concealer and not just baking wise, like everybody needs a powder, a foundation powder, so. I came up with this routine. Um, I used to do this like for a long time. I did it last summer because you know, it's certain events that I want to go to, like cookouts or barbecues or picnics or anything like that. And like, I'm like, dang, I want to do a beat, but it's like 200 degrees outside and my whole face is going to like just completely melt and then it'll feel cakey. So I just was like, you know what, I'm just going to do concealer and a face powder and it actually works. It doesn't feel like a lot on your face. And I mean, you're gonna sweat. Like I'm not saying it stops sweating, but you're gonna sweat. Doesn't feel like a lot on your face. And um, you look clean, your skin looks clear. So far, I'm looking at my viewfinder. So, so far, so good. Um, with this routine, you can also still contour, highlight, put on some bronzer. So this isn't just the final step. I'm gonna go in my Suva Beauty palette and this is not a bronzer. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as a bronzer. I'm gonna take 
this shade here and um go ahead and bronze up my skin just a little bit not too much but just a little bit bronze contour same thing i don't really like to contour in the summertime either i just rather like bronze because i already have pretty high cheekbones anyway which people be like oh i wish i had high cheekbones i'm like girl naturally i look chiseled so when i want to do extra chiseling i don't want to chisel too much if that makes sense So I don't want to chisel too much. So sometimes instead of contouring, I will bronze, but I do contour my nose sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. So for blush, I'm gonna take Peaches by MAC, which is my favorite blush. I love Peaches. I need to get another one because I have had Peaches like forever. So I'm gonna take that. And I'm really not like a blush person. I'm not really a blush fan. But this, the bomb.com. I'm gonna take my Laura Geller highlighter. This is an oldie but goodie. I don't really see people using Laura Geller no more. Y'all need to bring her back. Look how live. I'm gonna take my fan brush. It's pretty. If you want to, you can do your nose. Yeah. I mean, make this face. I like it. This is basically like my base as far as skin wise. Like, this is my skin. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera and change clothes and I'll be right back okay this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below if you have already heard of this routine or have seen it before here on youtube and let me know how y'all like it um follow me on instagram at restoration.beauty um i'm revamping i know i used to be leisha's vanity but the way things are going and the way things have been happening in, my, happening in my life, I chose to change the name. If you guys would like to see a video on why I changed the name and why I did what I did, comment down below and also give me a thumbs up and share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a really good day. Bye.